Arising from that, there is a small amount of money that's available for uh, support consultancy. And we're just at this stage now, interestingly, with the, with the, with the, first, the first year, the first round. Um, what the organizational diagnostic does is throw up a kind of wish list. Now, you will not get support for everything on that wish list. That's just a fact. But it, there is money available for some selective support, some selective support consultancy for some elements on that wish list. And part of the process here will be deciding in conjunction with you what's the right thing for you to get that support for. And that support is, is funded and paid for out of this pot. And it may include some of the some of the examples that we've that we've put up put up here. It may, on the other hand, be somebody that has a kind of mentor relationship with you over a period of time. So it could be something very specific, or it could be something more general. Uh, it very much depends on what comes up from the analysis. The information from the diagnostic also feeds into this other area I've talked about, which is training. Uh, CSV has got a lot of experience, attended a lot of experience in running programs of training specifically targeted at elements of volunteering. Um, and what this fund will be doing is we'll be running training courses that meet those specific uh, needs. Here are some of the examples of what the training might include. And for, for those of you that are in a sense of, of, of very familiar with volunteering, some of this you, you'll, you know, it's not going to be anything new or a surprise, but for those where volunteering is something that's growing, there is a lot to learn about the art of managing volunteers. It's a kind of science almost in its own right. Let's move on then to the other uh, element, which is uh, one of the, the other compulsory elements. If you remember, this was five days of time commitment as opposed to the organizational diagnostic, which was only one. This element is being run by attend. And attend have been very active in uh, working around a concept that's, that's it's got a number of labels, action learning sets, action learning networks, is, is the jargon word. Uh, what does this mean? It means bringing groups of people together from organizations that have certain things in common, uh, often working in the same sector, maybe working in the same geography, maybe of the same size, and using them uh, as an active way of sharing learning sharing learning amongst the group rather than just giving, if you like, learning to the group, although there is an element of giving as well as sharing. And the five areas that are listed here are the five individual workshops that uh, you as an organization will be able to send somebody along to participate in. And as you can see, they've obviously got a strong volunteering theme, but they've also got a strong change management and a strong project management theme to them as well. Here are some of the benefits that people have identified from participating in those action learning networks. It is very much about trying to focus people on the issues of today. This is not about sort of something theoretical. This is not um, going to college, business school, or reading a textbook. This is about people dealing with issues that they have in common today and learning from each other. It's peer-based learning. But in order to make peer-based learning work, you need to have people who are very good at facilitating those things, 
And of course, the people that respond and are successful in this fund do have a certain number of things in common, which is why it, this is such a powerful tool. There is, at the end of it, for those of you that like the certificate on the wall, there is a certificate. Uh, it is, it is a, an accredited piece of development. Um, but I don't think you should be going in it for the, for the certificate. It's also intended, in addition to that, to try and also create a series of online forums so that people are not just um, supporting each other from the peer point of view when they come together for these projects, but we're actually beginning to start to see, you know, can we connect people that work with mental health issues, not just in, in one part of the country, but in different parts of the country. People working around hospices or end of life care, people that work with particular types of carers. Is there something to be gained from networking people in a, in a virtual sense? Uh, as well, because this is what you all have in common as, as the successful applicants. So that is another feature of the support that would, uh, will come out of this. So, in summary, the two elements that are compulsory and that you need to look hard at is the organizational diagnostic and the action learning networks. If when you look at this and you say, we've been there, we've done that, this is not going to add any new value to us, I think you know, therefore, in a sense, whether this fund is for you or not. If, however, the answer is, this is new, this is something that is going to add some value, then you need to think about that in a very positive way, because once the amounts of money are very important, any money in the present climate is important. This isn't just money, this is money and support. <coughs>